Okay, so tonight I'm going to make a salad. I wasn't, I, not salad. I was making a salad to go with this dinner, and I'm recording that. Um, but these are going to be two separate things. So I've got some green onion, about uh, four small, or you can do uh, like two large green onions. I've got some carrots that I diced up. Let's bring you in just a little bit. I'll show you how I did it. I used 12 of the small baby carrots. I just cut them in half, well, quarters. And just kind of cut them in small little pieces. Like that. And throw them. And then I just put them in the bowl. Just like that. So, alright, hold on. Someone's calling me. Yeah. Alright, sorry about that. My neighbor called. Um, they are just wonderful people. Well, when she knocks, baby. She, um, I feel so bad. I didn't know that they were vegetarians, and I made them a curry dish the other night. It was pork. I feel so bad. But, yeah. Anyhow, I guess she's going to be bringing us a dish, so. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just chopping up some celery. I did, uh, two stalks, and then just cutting them in half and then um dicing them not really super small i want these a little bigger than the carrots because um i don't like soggy celery you know like overcooked celery i like it to still have a bite to it so do it the way you want okay but this is how i'm doing it you don't even have to add celery if you don't want to. I didn't even tell you what casserole I'm making. I'm making a tuna casserole. You know, just to give you a heads up. I guess I should have said that, huh? Though you'll know what it is when you um, see the title. Alright, so I got some petite white corn. I'm just going to add about half of the bag it's only what size is it? it's one pound so about a half a pound maybe a little less of corn okay i let it thaw out just a little bit they're still a little bit frozen and let's see if this water is boiling so oh, oh whoops we're gonna take you for a ride Let's see if I can't bring you guys up. Looks like it's boiling. Oh, yes, it's boiling. Nice. All right, so let's jump in the noodles. I've got a little extra of the small elbow, so I'm going to jump those in. Now, we're not going to put these completely through because we are going to bake this. So, we'll let that go for, I don't know, about four minutes. Micaiah, can you get the door for a sec? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so got the noodles done. Got talking because my neighbor showed up, so they got a little more done than I liked, but that's okay. I'm going to add a can of cream of celery and a can of cream of mushroom. So let's get those open and put in.
And then we're going to add about a half a can of each, so one can total of milk. But I want to get all of the yummies out of each can, so I'm going to put a half a can of milk just to kind of get all of the extras out. If that makes any sense. I love making meals like this so fast, so simple. You know. Alright. Let me get the milk. So, pour in. Not like that. About a half a can. Gonna give it a swirl. Get all the goodies. And pour it in there. Same with this one. Now, if you don't like cream of mushroom or cream of celery, you can definitely use any cream of soup that you want. Cream of broccoli, um, I don't know, maybe cream of chicken if you want. Well, I don't know about cream of chicken. I guess you could, I mean, but you're using, you're making a, a tuna casserole, so I don't know if I'd do cream of chicken, but, you know, you're the chef, you're the cook, so whatever you want to add, up to you. But this is what I add. Okay. So done with the milk. Now with the spices. So we want some salt. I don't know, about a teaspoon or so. Just to taste. I'm doing the Himalayan pink salt. I still can't find my cracked black pepper, so I'm still using the canned. So about, I don't know, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of that. Some smoked paprika. I don't know, a couple of shakes of it, maybe a half teaspoon, teaspoon of that. Got some basil. I'd say, I don't know, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of basil in here because it's quite a bit. And then oregano, whoops, I'm going to put, I don't know, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of that. Now let's just mix it till it's completely combined and then we'll add the tuna. So you'd want about two cans of whatever tuna you like. I've got, what do I have? I have two jars or jars, cans of the Ace of Diamonds. It's I don't know, fancy solid pack. I don't know. It's light meat tuna. Um, I don't buy tuna. My mother-in-law gives it to us. Because um, I'm not a fan of tuna out of a can. I will eat it in a casserole, though. So. Alrighty. So, drain your tuna. Alright, so let me get that drain and then um, we'll put it in here and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I've got the two cans of tuna. Let's kind of break it up a little bit in there. Don't need to break it too much because when you stir it, you're going to break it up anyhow. Okay. 
Okay. Let me clean up my hands. So, be right back. Okay. So now you just mix it. Preheat your oven before you start this, by the way, to 350 degrees. Just kind of break up the chunks. I mean, you want some chunks. You just don't want it all in one chunk, if that makes sense. So kind of break it up a little bit. Anyhow, that's what I say. Preheat your oven to 350. Now this makes a double batch. Um, so I've got what a little over a pound of noodles. Um, so if you want just one small one, you can um, definitely just do like half of this. Um, so only one can of soup, um, a half a can of milk. Six of the little baby carrots, um, maybe one stalk of the celery, um, the green onions, that's really up to you how much you want. <laughs> Any of this is really up to you and how much you want. All right, let me get this set to the side, get the baking dish. Now, some of this is going to get frozen. I'm not going to bake all of this, um, because... I do like to save some. I don't know. We'll see. But put it in. Put it in your baking dish and not all over the counter. That would probably be a good thing. I'm just saying, you know. Okay. Save the rest for later to freeze. Now, if you want cheese on this, you can. Um, you know what? That actually sounds good. Let me pull out the grater and the cheese, and we'll put some cheese on this. Be right back. Okay. So, I got some cheese. Didn't know how much I'd need, so we'll just grate some on top. And then what I'm going to do is cover this with some tin foil. And I'm going to check it after about a half hour. You want it to be bubbly. Um, and the veggies tender. I mean, you don't want them mushy, but, you know, you want them tender. Okay. And then, um, once they're tender, then you can take it off. And then what I like to do, since it's already now done cooked, turn it on to broil and, um, let the cheese get nice and bubbly brown all over. So, up to you, though, on how you want your cheese, or, like, I wasn't going to put cheese, but as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, yeah, cheese, let's do that. So, options are awesome. That's what I love about casseroles is, you know, you can just choose, you know, what you want on it, you know. Or put in it, even. That might be enough. Spread it out a little bit. Now oh, let's do a little bit more. Oops. Don't do that. Alright. Okay. That's good. Now, if you want more than that, go ahead and put more than that. I might even do it once it's done cooking. Who knows? All right. Tin foil. I'm going to cover it. And bake it, like I said. 
at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, and then check it and um, see when um, if your veggies are tender, not mushy, but tender. So fork tender. And then um, I'll be back when all of this is finished. Okay, hold. Well, for you it'll be a second. For me, about a half hour or so. Okay, so here is the tuna casserole. This is the mung bean salad. This is actually something that my neighbor brought over, and it is really, really good. Um, she made that. But we're here to try this, the tuna salad. And I take it back. Don't do three fifty. Do four fifty. Um. Because otherwise, well, at least in my oven, I had to do um, four fifty. But anyhow, all right, this is gonna be hot because we just took it out of the oven. Hot, uh huh, very hot. Mm. Uh huh. Very, very, very good. This, I think I put a little bit too lemon, too much lemon. My husband likes it, though. Um, and <laughs> Did you hear him? Heck yeah, I love it. Mm. I wouldn't put salt at all because that fish sauce has enough salt in it as it already. For me, it's too salty. Um, but, oh. This, this casserole is super, super yummy. So definitely give it a try. Mm. And let me know what you think. Okay? Alright, I love you guys. And um, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Leave me a comment and please share this video. Um, it helps me, but also, when you like, or thumbs down, whichever you choose to do, you know, that helps me out as well. But your comments, you know, leaving me feedback, you know, helps me out to know, you know, what you guys are liking, you know, as far as what I put out. I've noticed no one really comments on any of my videos except for when there's a giveaway, and that kind of breaks my heart you know so I don't know I hope all of you guys you know new subscribers and old subscribers you know are here for my content and not just my giveaways so by commenting that lets me know all right anyhow I love you guys I hope you have a wonderful day or night whatever time you're watching this and don't forget to always smile bye